Question 4.1, the JSC, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Refer to paragraph one. Ben Gimo and Kim Liston and Solly Prince were disqualified by the JSE from serving on the board of directors of any listed company for the next five years. Why? The three directors failed to fulfill their oversight roles in relation to the financial statements. The JSE fined Marlowe Limited 6.5 million for publishing a number of sets of incorrect, false, and misleading financial results. So explain why companies might want to be listed on the JSE. There's quite a few reasons for this. So number one, the public can participate in the purchase of shares and they'll have easier access to potential investors. Number two, it adds to the prestige of a company. It gives the company a bit more credibility due to additional listing requirements and publicity. And furthermore, it ensures compliance with the Companies Act and other regulations such as triple BEE audit requirements. Question two, well, the second bullet, explain why the JSE would not tolerate incorrect, false, and misleading financial results from companies that are listed. Well, they will not deceive the public as it's their role to ensure that sound business management practices are in place and they don't want to cuss cost cast doubts about their operations. So they don't want to deceive the public and they'd want to avoid any legal action against the JSE for misleading shareholders. So legal action. And a third possible point, the JSC is a very important organization. They're vital in facilitating capital funds that stimulate the South African economy. And it leads to further creation of jobs in a country like South Africa, where unemployment is ever so high. And the public relies on this credible information. Audit reports refer to paragraph two. So in paragraph two, they were appointed as members of the Audit and Risk Committee in 2018, when Malo Limited was listed on the JSC. And they resigned from the board of directors after the company published its unaudited mid-year financial results in 2021, the independent auditors had issued a qualified report in 2019 and then a disclaimer of opinion report in 2020. So firstly, what are the differences between the two? Qualified audit report, disclaimer of opinion. So qualified, the external auditors identified a few areas of concern and does not allow them to give an unqualified report or anything about internal control processes. And the audit evidence might be deficient. A disclaimer of opinion report, the external auditors refused to or they were unable to obtain sufficient evidence to support an audit's opinion. And the company does not exercise reliable internal control processes and management was incompetent in performing basic recording and reporting tasks. Financial statements do not adhere to GARP and IFRS, IFRS. So it's simply insufficient evidence. That's it. 4.3, refer to paragraphs 1, 2, and 3. So in paragraph 3, Jimo, Leston, and Prince all admitted to having no knowledge of corporate governance uh, or the rules and regulations governing the financial reporting of a JSE listed company. They admitted that they were inexperienced directors, so they had not fulfilled their duty of ensuring that Marlowe Limited had proper financial reporting procedures in place. So as a concerned shareholder, what questions would you raise at the AGM? AGM is annual general meeting. Uh, provide three questions and in each case, explain an appropriate reason. So we've got Q&A here. So question and an appropriate reason for the question. I love it. They, they love asking questions like this. They love it in corporate governance. So questions along the lines of why do the disqualified directors seem to have no skills or experience? So why don't they have any experience? And a reason for it, for a company listed on the JSE, you should have highly qualified directors. Question two, why did the board not take immediate action over the qualified and disclaimer audit reports? Why not? Why do they wait so long? And reason for this is that poor audit reports will severely affect the company and the market price of its shares. And a nice third one, why haven't they implemented disciplinary procedures on these directors before the JSE disqualified them? So why no discipline? The board should have taken prompt action to prevent further problems. That's it. That's corporate governance. Don't overcomplicate it. This is a really lovely question. You can do it.